purpose. This is all about you. And I was thinking about you on the walk home. Um, I was, I was on my, as I was walking my dog, um, I will get into that. I will get into the channeled message, but this is born without boundaries. Welcome. Um, no, I don't, I don't put dates on my videos anymore. Um, but I can tell you if you want them fresh off the press, cause I do a new video every single week for each Zodiac sign, please do click subscribe and ring that bell. You'll get notified as soon as I upload the videos that you care about. There's always an extended reading that comes out of this. Um, it's a full tarot card spread that articulates and uh, d goes deeper and is more personal. And it includes a romance reading as well. That link is down below in the description box and in the comment section. Um, so it's easy for you guys to find whether you're on mobile or not. Um, but this is an energy reading. It's not a horoscope. This is an oracle card reading. This one is not a tarot card reading. Like I said, that's in the extended. So I get the energies for Taurus. So it doesn't matter if you're Taurus sun, moon, or rising sign. Those are the three signs you should check all the time anyway. You should always be watching for your sun, your moon, and your rising sign to get a really well-rounded understanding of what's going on. Um, but um, this could also be if Taurus is, you know, your Venus is in Taurus or your Mercury is in Taurus or your Uranus. Is, it doesn't matter. What matters is this energy can be applied for the next week or so uh, to wherever Taurus influences your chart. And if it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. We don't want to break it. So Taurus, let's get into your reading. Channeled message essentially is I do feel like there's something that you need to know that is not being shared with you. Yes. Um, and we'll get into what that could be. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. 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 Think on your feet. You're going to have to improvise. Duck and weave, tuck and roll, Taurus. This is Sagittarius energy. And Fox teaches us, you know, sometimes people call the Fox a trickster or a shapeshifter. But Fox is the energy of no, being very quick on your feet, of being um, able to be malleable and switch and change and not expect. So that means letting go of that really earth energy need to have stability and be certain and plan things out way into the future. Sagittarius energy says, no, 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 no. I am the future. I don't plan the future. I pave the future. I don't think about it. I just do it. Sagittarius is very, very comfortable in chaos. I don't know if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, but since this is your crowning energy, it doesn't, it's not so much who you're dealing with, but the feeling of sort of the mentality and the general theme of what you're going to need to get you through this week. And it, it is that energy of not thinking too far ahead. Um, think about Fox and think about what uh, historically Foxes have had to endure Foxes have been hunted, uh, hunting them have, has been sport, right? So they've had to deal with like how many hounds and horses and guns coming after just them, just one of them, having to protect yourself in that way. Think about all those things bum rushing you all of a sudden when you're just trying to walk through the forest one day to find something to eat, right? So think about how what you, ugh, like the mechanisms that you would have to develop if you were a fox in order to survive and if you were a fox in order to survive i tell you you'd have to be very very light on your feet you'd have to be very very agile and be able to turn quarters uh quicker than any kind of dog or hound could your smell your sense of uh, sight and hearing you'd have to be in the moment or in, in even one just one step ahead but not necessarily planning one step ahead but basically just sort of being able to skip one step ahead as quickly as you possibly could. Um, that's the energy that you're going to need to get you through this week. So now we have um, take a leap of faith, something that, in other words, you're not going to be able to see everything this week. It's not going to be clear, but you are going to be protected and there is happiness and fortune coming to you this week. The energy of three, so this is divine intervention and balance, a feeling of stability that comes from just being devil may care and taking that leap, not needing or depending on or relying 
on that predictability in your life, but instead just going with the flow. This is also a message of tell the truth and be honest. Even if it seems like you're going to get in trouble, you're not going to get in trouble. Telling the truth is always a way to go because this is a Jiminy Cricket card, right? Jiminy Cricket was, um, well, he wasn't a grasshopper, um, but he was, is, is a sense of, of consciousness, of, of be conscientious and um, be honest. Dare to be truthful. You ever heard that expression, Taurus, where, you know, uh, lies take a lot more energy than the truth. The truth, you don't have to remember. The truth is just there. You can just speak it. It's a lot easier and it will make you a lot lighter. Um, life is a mystery. This is something in disguise, something that's hidden. The energy of eight, which is destiny. What I'm saying is something that is his, hidden. Your destiny is still hidden. Your, your destiny is still uncertain. So what is going to come from the choices that you're making now is, has still yet been undecided or it's decided. It just hasn't been revealed to you. You can feel it. You may feel that something's on like, on like something is, coming like you feel it but you don't know what it is you can tell it it's, you can tell that it's there but you can't yeah you don't know what it is you don't know what it is it's still hidden the whole truth and the whole your whole um the whole image the whole vision is still hidden from you there are still big pieces that are missing um which is why you're just going to have to proceed in faith this week um, you're walking through a, 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 a haze, you're walking through the mist and you can't necessarily see beyond your nose or that step right in front of you. Now we have wasps, sometimes life sings. So be prepared, please, to get wisps or branches smacking you in the nose because you couldn't see them coming. Um, dirt being kicked up into your face, banging into things. This is a sense of, it, may, it might be easier to even just close your eyes, but there will be a lot of agitation and irritants that you're going to have to deal with. There's also a buzzing, a feeling of a zzz, zzz, something's irritating you, something's bothering you. You can feel, like I said, you can feel it coming something's but it's irritating you it's bothering you um um pay attention to those feelings and then maybe it could be happening on the web it could be happening in the world it could be something happening in the world or happening on a global scale that's really bothering you and really bugging you really worrying you and concerning you you may feel that it's almost like um you uh, an unseen threat and be very worried about it um, I'm thinking like the whole coronavirus craze, which is just ridiculous. If you've actually uh, gone, anyway, we'll talk about that. I'm actually doing a video with my friend who is a, a PhD in public health and services. So we'll talk about all about all that, but you go to the, um, if it, if it, in other words, if it's, if it's something like that, that's some, sort of, or maybe it's not the coronavirus, but if it's something like that, that's getting you and really bugging you and sort of taking over your brain like a brain worm and you can't focus because it's frustrating you so much and you want to change th this part of the world, be sure that you're getting the full story first because there's a lot of buzz and there's a lot of irritation and yet the full story hasn't been made clear and people are making decisions based on half facts and not full facts when the facts are out there for you to get. So don't listen to media, don't listen to hype. If you turn all that off, you can basically block out and shut out the white noise and maybe actually get some peaceful, deep thinking done. Then we have be here now, what I say? Be in this present moment. Now is a very beautiful moment. It's a very beautiful time. And if you look in front of you, Taurus, and don't try to look too far ahead of you, then you won't miss all the gorgeousness and the beauty and the happiness and the playfulness and the sweet, sweet honeysuckle nectar that's available for you right now. That is your central energy. So think on your feet is your crowning energy, but your central energy is be in this present moment. So be prepared to move whatever which way for the future, but have your focus be right here, right now. This is Libra energy. This could indicate partnership. This could indicate love and romance, but this is more romance or being in love with your surroundings, with nature, with your environment, with what's going on in your life right now. Time to let go. Groundhog, something's gnawing at you. Something's been bothering you. Something that's been deep down and maybe you've pushed it deep down inside. That's got to come to the surface. That could be the irritant. That could be that that thing that was undigestible. That could be, hold on. That could be, um, that, oh yeah. 
I'm telling you there's something hidden underground. Underground, th this is an energy of dreams. It could come to you through your dreams. It could come to you through your subconscious. Your subconscious will start letting you know by making you see things. It's almost like spirit wants you to be focused on the here and now so that you can catch its signs and symbols and synchronicities that it's sending to you so you can work out all what's gnawing at you, what's been getting at you, because there is something that's bothering you, even though your life is really beautiful, what's right in front of you is really beautiful, but there's something gnawing at you and something is going on. I told you, I said it, I said it, I channeled, the channeled message was straight up. Yeah, towards something, there's something that you don't understand and something that you don't know that is going to impact your life and it's coming. And even though your life looks real good on the surface right now, you can feel it underneath. Uh, open to infinite possibilities. This is Aquarius energy as well. Um, the energy of being public recognition and being a star and shining. And like I said, on the surface, this is something that something is really good. Something is happening. This is a beautiful, abundant week, but it's also could mean that the truth is coming out, that there is going to be some sort of unearthing and revelation that's coming to you. And it could have to do with what was bothering you and what was bugging you. Um, Nothing is wasted, a sense of trash in a treasure heap. So um, <sighs> finding, um, what is this energy really saying to me today? Because usually it's finding value in places that other people couldn't. Finding that treasure in the trash heap um, and knowing something is valuable, uh, even though it may not look a certain way. But this is almost, for me, uncovering true value when it's been hidden. So, um, or making the best out of a situation that could be in a lot of ways, pretty crappy. Um, but you have found a, a way to make the best out of this situation, which means that by the end of this week, at least the truth may be revealed to you. Um, give with gratitude and grace. This is your grounding energy. So whatever it was in your life or whoever it is in your life, or maybe this is you coming around to this energy of take whatever you need. I'll give all of myself just wanting to give everything that, that somebody else needs to take care of them, to nurture them, to help them, to heal them. This could be sort of a, a mother energy, a protective energy, but protective in the, that nurturing way, that way that turkeys give of themselves, which is all of themselves, body, body and soul, and, and, and just wanting to do everything for somebody else. Um, this is a grounding energy, six plus one equals seven. So this is creation, putting your whole self into giving everything you are over to um, a, a focused purpose. Um, turn knowledge into wisdom, wolf, something is hiding. It could be this, this could be what's hiding something, something that has to do with a nurturer in your life or, um, somebody that's given a lot to you over the years, or you've given a lot to somebody and you're hiding intentions, or you feel like, um, you're, you're hiding your feelings for them. This is a sense of this energy, whoever you have this relationship with that they, or you would give anything for the other. Um, they're hiding something. There's, there's a truth. This is the moon card. The wolf spirit is there's, there is almost like there's been signs. There's been little tidbits and little breadcrumbs. And, you know, if you were trying, you would put two and two together, but you weren't trying because you were a little bit caught up in your own life. But ultimately Taurus, all of this is coming together and you're starting to put two and two together. And, you know, the, the accumulation of that, that knowledge and those bits and pieces are turning into that whole picture. So yes, I think be at home. Mm. Uh, six plus eight is the energy of 14. Um, and that's the energy of five. There could be some major change or major shift happening at home. Something that you, uh, like, like that, this, this grounding energy, uh, something that would make you want to go back home to help, um, to help fix an issue. Hold on. Let me um, review the cards with you. Hold on. So here we go. 
this grounding energy is something is unearthed or something is being hidden about a caretaker or somebody who cares about you that's close to home. This is heart chakra space. It could also very well be hiding your feelings or emotions for somebody that you really care about. Um, maybe just you're not ready to share them yet, but something is definitely hidden here. This is could be missing or melancholy or aching for that comfort and that love and that unconditional, um, that unconditional love that you used to receive when you were were at home um, working really hard and sort of like getting more public recognition and attention and having fun and life is sweet but not ever really completely feeling really totally where you are where you that you are where you belong this is still improvising going with the flow it's definitely the energy that you've set yourself into and it's good it's a good energy it's a good mentality to not take, think too far ahead and to appreciate the beauty of what you have in front of you. That might help a lot, a lot be, that may help a lot, especially if something comes up that you could not prepare for, that might knock you on your butt. There is definitely something that is waiting in the wing. Um, it could very well be something that's very good in terms of uh, a, like a hidden a hidden opportunity or an opportunity that was actually a lot better than it sounded at first. Um, um, you could have, uh, no, I don't want to say, I don't want to say, um, something that I don't mean. Um, there, there, there is a feeling of something that's definitely bugging you. Let me go into, I'm going to, I'm going to extend this reading guys. Let's go into tarot right now. We'll figure out what is going on. What could be the thing that's pestering you? What are you feeling? It could be that you are psychically picking up on something. And then we have this, the romance reading as well. So that link is in the description box below. And it's also in the comment section. I will see you guys over there, Taurus.